then let us start to uh, smart sensors i was telling you that the main aim of smart sensor are incorporating integrating technology on sensor system is to make sensor system intelligent because we want to connect a uh, sen uh, uh, sensor system on internet so we want to connect machine on internet we want everything to be connect on internet if you want to connect anything to internet it must be intelligent it must be able to take decision that's why the efforts are taken on sensor system for making it smart enough or making it as equipped with intelligent technology or, or ability to make decision on their own okay okay the the the, the third point is already uh, uh, covered in detail uh, if if you want to do this type of thing that is you want to make the system smart the foremost the, the ground reality says that its size should be very very small because it is going to be attached on the things right that's why we want sensor system to be available on a single chip the complete system should be available on a chip this uh, this is uh, already explained to you the third introduction point under smart sensor is we all know sensor system consisting of a uh, sensor element which is also called as transduction element signal conditioning that is nothing but sensor electronics part uh, and and followed by the processor which is usually a controller okay so our smart sensor also should include all these things but not on three but different different circuit but on one single circuit hope this slide is slide is clear to everybody yeah i'm moving to next slide this is the standard definition of smart sensor okay smart sensor as i already told you is having ability to make decision the the, the other requirement of smart sensor is it must because it is going to be connected on internet so it must have ability to perform two way communication yes exactly smart sensor should have ability to perform two way communication obviously when it is uh, uh, need to perform a, a decision making operation it must be having ability to perform logical uh, uh, execution what are the logical functions available in nature and are not exclusive or so that can, are the basic uh, uh, elements of logical function and we can make a complicated logical function by using the small logical function right so th uh, those things should be uh, uh, should or can be easily incorporated in our smart sensor so this are the three requirements of making a sensor to be smart most important requirement must have ability to make decision then two way communication necessary requirement and logical function ability to include logical function so this is nothing but definition slide if it is clear then i will move to next slide yes sir yeah this is already explained to you as i told you if your slide i have taken in order to save the time from the kharagpur presentation the professor of kharagpur so this is our uh, typical das diagram some 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 people also uh, uh, call it to be data equalization system and we are calling it as sensor system right so sensor amplifier filter followed by a conversion circuit followed by a processor so if it is clear i will uh, I, i i won't waste time to uh, again discuss this we'll move to next slide yes sir yeah so next to three slides are uh, important for us this makes us to understand uh, uh, the implementation of smart sensor okay observe keenly all three slides are nothing but smart sensor uh, sensor systems only this this and this but there is a difference between these slides you please uh, tell me or or i will explain you the, the difference between these slides uh, okay sensor system we all know first part is sensor followed by uh, sensor electronics which some people call as signal preprocessor uh, and and uh, followed by processing unit there are some more thing which is skipped is skipped in this block diagram 
uh, most of the thing like this amplifier filter adc here all three are included in signal processor right and the last one processing unit is added so these three blocks are actually called as sensor system if they are in three different places I interface with the help of the cables or wires it is called as conventional sensor system now I'm moving to next slide because all three slides are interconnected see here if suppose we have integrated two parts sensor and sensor electronics which this professor is calling as pre processor then still it, it cannot be called as uh, uh, the smart sensor but it is called as integrated sensor right so if try to move sensor preprocessor or process and processing unit all on one semiconducting base then it is called as smart sensor smart or integrated intelligent sensor right so I, I, I will try to explain you once more in examination also if a question come on uh, uh, this particular topic explain the uh, implement uh, explain the, the fundamental technology about smart sensor then you need to start actually from the beginning but these three things are very very necessary you need to start from sensor system we all know sensor system comprising of sensor sensor electronics or signal processor uh, followed by processing unit so if the top two move on one chip it is called as integrated sensor if all three move on one chip it is called as smart sensor or integrated intelligent sensor uh, i want to discuss the architecture of smart sensor in next class right but in how much time left 10 more minutes left so in the leftover time what i will do is what are the advantages of smart sensors and what are the functions a smart sensor typically perform we will cover in today's class you see importance and adaptation of smart sensor obviously it reduces the cost of bulk cables because when circuits are at different places we need to use cables to interface so and then when cables are available connectors also need to be used right so that cost is drastically cut when we go for a smart sensor so remote diagnostic operation can be very easily done if we adopt smart sensor right cost improvement this is actually the extension of point number one next next advantage or next significance system reliability see when the 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 circuits are at different places then, then the reliability will be less if all circuits are available on one single semiconducting circuit then its reliability obviously increases and then next point uh, i will tell you one, one very very important point see people usually see a parameter called as signal to noise ratio i think i already explained you about this thing don't worry uh, uh, it will be keep on uh, using at different places so the person who is sorry not person the component which is responsible mainly for the insertion of noise in our system is the cable remember this thing the more the cable length the more the insertion of noise now here what we have done by integration we have actually shortened the cable length right that's why it is having better signal strength than noise which is called as signal to noise ratio here important here see here calibration i have explained you in detail about calibration in our transducer course okay let me explain calibration is nothing but it is nothing but measurement only under the presence of standard but the intention of this type of measurement is to get errors in measurement remember this 
if suppose we are taking the mock test sorry if we are uh, uh, okay studying at home it is called as measurement but when we go for giving a test it is called as calibration calibration tell us how far we are from the target is it clear with respect to sensor if you talk about with respect to sensor how much error sensor is carrying in measurement can be done with the help of calibration if suppose we want to carry the calibration feature right in the sensor that is possible if we go with smart sensor because in smart sensor we are actually carrying everything on one chip when we are using the integrated technology so many things can come in small place that is the reason many features can be included like a feature of calibration and when that is available it is called a self calibration ability yeah now computation see after measurement we all know that there is a chance of doing wrong measurement okay uh uh sometime measurement is having accuracy but it may not be having precision so statistical calculation if you want to do right in our sensor system that is possible if we go with smart sensor see statistical calculation like average calculation variance calculation standard deviation calculation of a set of measurement right in our sensor system yes it is possible if we go with smart sensor. now communication communication is possible because it is a feature which is inherited in our smart sensor multi sensing yeah instead of performing single sensing if we want our sensor to equip with multi sensing feature yes it is possible even that is possible with the uh, 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 smart sensor because it can move many 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 feature on a single chip multi sensing like uh, one is doing chemical sensing one is doing physical sensing like that multi sensing one is performing temperature measurement one is performing humidity measurement etc yeah so these are some more advanced features which can be inserted in our smart sensor non linearity are you aware of non linearity feature we have discussed about non linearity feature many times even in our this course also we have seen this thing any deviation from the straight line of input versus output curve is called as non linearity that is the maximum deviation so here in the smart sensor if suppose sensor is having some non linearities this is samajh jao meri awaaz mein lukniyat hai my voice is having some 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 high frequency spikes jaise jab aadmi boodha ho jata hai unke daant nahi hote and and uh, uh, they may have uh, uh, some 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 bulky uh a uh, 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 component in their speech uh, uh, production system so then then the voice will be will not be very clear that is called as non linearity in our voice so we have many systems which is having ability to clear this voice or remove the non linearities from voice exactly in similar way we can incorporate some technologies which can address to the problem of non linearities of sensor on smart sensor. cross sensitivity cross sensitivity uh, if you remember to the transducer subject we have seen that the strain gauges they are actually uh, not only exposed sorry sensitive to strain but also sensitive to temperature the strain gauge output can vary not only because of the applied strain but also because of the environment temperature so we have seen that there are many compensating circuit available with the help of which the effect of temperature on our measurement can be nullified right so cross sensitivity is nothing, cross sensitivity is nothing but the effect of undesirable sensitivity like temperature in case of strain uh, strain gauge if we incorporate the additional circuitry uh, which can uh, uh, cut the effect of cross sensitivity problem that it is called as uh, uh, the compensating circuit 
this compensating circuit also can be incorporated in our integrated smart center offset ye to sabko maloom hai dekhiye ghadi ka jo aapka meter ka kanta hota na measure instrument ka uh, without starting the measurement it may be pointing to other than zero that is actually called as offset so if we want to have a mechanism of making that pointer or the indicator or the display to display zero value before starting the measurement it is called as offset compensating circuit that can be easily incorporated in our smart sensors the drift drift is again a, a, an extension of offset which is already covered that problem adjustment for parameter drift uh, can also be inserted in our smart sensor if it is clear i will take uh, a few more minutes because we started a little late to explain the applications of smart sensors only one topic left will be left in smart sensor that is nothing but the architecture which i will explain in next class first one is optical sensor optical sensor abhi dekho augmented reality virtual reality in that we are seeing this optical sensors latest and there are many other areas in which optical sensors are available smart optical sensors accelerometer all smartphones are equipped with accelerometer right so you see we have uh, the option to uh, either uh, uh, on the accelerometer accelerometer right in our all smartphones accelerometer is available that actually sense the movement okay so that is nothing but an example of smart sensor multi sensor okay this is actually a generic example of smart sensor infrared detector array so infrared detector array is nothing but an array of sensors which is using the infrared in order to detect the temperature or or some other different components array means series of sensors okay this is not needed yeah this you can write in the examination when a when a specific question on smart sensor explain uh, what is smart sensor explain with an example then you please explain this thing if a question come in this exam if a question come like this list a few smart sensors what is smart sensor list a few smart sensors then in that case you can list this optical accelerometer integrated multi sensor infrared array detector right the question come like this what is a smart sensor infrared sensor which is used in our uh, a simple dead sensor i am explaining you so we wonder that how 